Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take another look at a Lenovo ThinkSystem ST550 server, but this time we're going to install a new Xeon Gold 5218 CPU in addition to the one that was already in it from Lenovo. We're going to add 256 gigabytes of DDR4 ECC memory from Samsung, four 2 terabyte SATA drives from Samsung that are going to make a SSD RAID 5, and then we're using the Lenovo M2 enablement kit to add a 512 gigabyte NVMe OS drive. Let's take a look. This is the ThinkSystem ST550 5218 server. We ordered four Samsung 860 Pro 2.5 inch 2 terabyte SSDs to upgrade it. We installed those in EarthTech trays. This is the M2 enablement kit from Lenovo. And we're going to add the 970 Pro M2 NVMe 512 gigabyte drive. We have eight DDR4 ECC RDIMMs that are 2666 megahertz. This is the Lenovo upgrade kit at a second ST550 Xeon Gold 5218 CPU. I'm going to unlock the case and you have to pull pretty hard from this back side. to get it up open. On the underside, you'll see there's a guide that's gonna show you a lot about how to do the upgrades. How to do the M2 enablement kit, fans, adding a secondary fan for that additional CPU, cards, and then the memory order. And as you'll see, when you have two CPUs installed, that activates all of the memory slots. We won't populate all of them though. I believe six and seven will remain unpopulated. Inside, you can see there's a large shroud that helps the airflow maintain a direction. There is a battery and that's gonna be for our SAS card that goes to the SATA drives. The M2 enablement kit goes right down here. There is a slot for that, and that's what's going to allow us to add that M2 drive. So we've got our 970 Pro and the M2 enablement kit. We're going to take the card out, put it in the enablement kit, and then this part's kind of weird. You have to kind of push and squeeze and slide this thing and then it snaps into place. You can see it is notched in here and there are two posts to help guide installing that M2. Alright, and that's it for that. So now we're going to take all this out. We're going to pop out the battery first. We're going to leave it connected and just hang it out. And then there's this shroud that needs to come out. Just lifts off. There's no clips or anything. Then you'll see where the new CPU and RAM modules are going to go. You leave this installed until you're ready to install your new CPU. The CPU comes attached to the heatsink module in this box. Attached to the box is a nut drive or a quarter inch drive Torx and that's going to be how you tighten it down. So we're going to take that out. Got this fairly long driver, so I think that's going to be just fine. Fits great on the existing CPU. So let's pop the Xeon Gold out and we'll get it installed. You can see the CPU is already attached to the heatsink. There is a tighten down order for the screws. You can see there are screws here and here, and then posts go in these corners. There are notches on the CPU itself and notches on the socket. So we're going to line that up by setting it directly down. Then we're going to take the nut driver and we're going to start the tightening order. So we got number one. And number two. And we're not going to go crazy tight. We're just going to get them just snug. Number three. And 
and then number four. Now I'm going to go back over them again. Number one is snug. Number two is snug. Number three, I think, still has a little ways to go. Yep. And then number four. All right. That's installed. Going to go on and flip out all of our RAM slots. And I'm going to remove the factory RAM. And we have a lot of modules to install. And there are 12 total slots, so we're not going to use 1, 12, 6, and 7 based on the instructions on the underside of the lid. So that's basically all of the outside to each CPU. So we're not going to use this one, this one, this one, or this one. So we'll just put each module in one at a time. Lastly, we need to install the new CPU fan, which goes in this dummy location that was provided by Lenovo. So we've got this guy to go in place. It's going to clip in, and there's an open header right next to it. There we go. Now I need to reinstall the shroud so that we get proper airflow. And that's going to go over these tabs, but it does just sit down in there. And we can reinstall the battery for the RAID card. Don't really think it matters where this goes as long as it clips in. side back on the case. And we'll fire it up. You can see everything's up and running. Four SATA drives are lit. And on the screen you can see 256 gigabytes of memory detected, two processors, 32 cores. Xeon Gold. This is the fourth ST550 server I've set up, but this one by far is the most powerful with the dual Xeon CPUs and the 256 gigs of RAM. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have anything you want to add that I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.